Good day in the home, I'm your host, Will and Cloud, and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Now, let's continue on where we left, and where we left is we need to go to destroy, to smash the defiled statue. No, no time for dancing. I want my revenge. The Herald always escaped, but this time he won't escape me. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, hello! We are coming! Explore Cold the Abyss. Yes, please. 46 level. Eh, it'll be easy. Start. Search for the defiled statue. I... After all that running around, we end up right back here again. Look at us. We barely escaped this place last time, and now we're strolling right back in. Gee, surely we must be some of the bravest adventurers in all of Tavat. That are the stupidest. To get to that creepy statue, we just need to follow the path we used to escape last time. That should take us right to it. Yep, that'll work. Let's go, and remember to be on your guard. Holy balls. Literally, there are loads of balls. What the heck is this shite? Now then, hmm. Basically, what I wanted to say, I forgot what I wanted to say, because go. it's Paimon. No, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you, and oh, fuck you too, and fuck you too. Ha 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 ha, the first time. Wrecked. See, I'm, I'm the master, I'm the bubble master. Looks like we're here. An eerie, lifeless, dark chamber. I understand the evil aura you were describing earlier. Oh, such a scary place. Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. The Abyss Herald, it's here. <laughs> you sense correctly. You are just as vexatious as ever, Dainsliff, enemy of the Abyss. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed. Perhaps from your darkest nightmares. Unless... <laughs> oh, and something far more dangerous. You reek of a corruption familiar to me. Then we are the same. We're both dangerous. But... Dangers from outside of the Abyss Order must be caught and caged. It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you! Yes, I always wanted to smash him. I don't care, I want to kill you. I want to kill you. Elemental reaction. All the all directions you will get. I promise to you. No rest for the wicked. Oh no no no, Barbara! I I know your type. Where are you going? Where are you? Come here, bitch! I need to smack you hard. I don't care about them. I don't really care about them. By royal decree. I don't care about you because you both suck. Nice. So I can hit him back. And maybe now I can even do something like point. Come on. Oh, nice. Oh, I even hit him when he was spinning. Okay, what you gonna do now? Oh, I can I can even heal everything up. No. No, no, no. Fuck. He, he got his shield up again. Time to heal. And his shield is the most annoying one. His shield is the one that is actually annoying. It's not the Abyss Mages. I don't even care about the Abyss Mages. His shield is the one that's annoying. And yeah. I don't really care about them in spages. Oh. Well, 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 well. 
Oh, hi. Put out, come on. We can do better than that. Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. Hi, I need to hit you. Give me back my HP. No, this looks like an... This looks like he's an ass. And I'm gonna prove it. Nope, negative. That's not the end. Okay, hell. Fuck, I cannot read it. I cannot read it. Okay, now I just need element reactions and he will fly. Yeah, spin one more time. Good job. And one more time. Good job. Proud of you. Proud of you. Okay, I'll just get rid of you. Okay, he's dead, you're dead, and you're dead too. Yeah, 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 uh -huh, uh -huh. What else? You wanna spin? Come on, I need to get his shield off completely. Yeah, and what else? Yeah, 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 spin, spin, one more time, yes, good job, one more time. Oh, good job, I'm proud of you, I'm really proud of you. Okay, so he always hits you, <clears throat> doesn't matter. And Fischl isn't ready yet. But she took the hit, so I can do this. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Your shield is going down. What are you gonna do now? Oh, and come on. Let's heal up. Let's heal up quickly. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Heal. 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 Yes. Ah. Let's get out of here. It's too dangerous. Uh, wait! He just blocked an attack against the Abyss Herald! Your brother? And the Abyss? Lumine, why are you with Dane? What? Are you... are you... are you asking about Dane? Uh-huh. I've been separate for so long. Why are you asking about something that doesn't matter? Your brother knows Dane? Ether, we meet again. Uh, what's going on here? Dane knows him too? You shouldn't team up with this man. He is my enemy. Ether. Hold on a second. Stop saying things that don't make sense out there. <laughs> but it must be said. Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop the Abyss. That man Dainsliff was the Twilight Sword, one of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. 500 years ago, he failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. A curse of immortality was laid upon him, to forever wander the wilderness, while he watched the people he was supposed to protect turn into the monsters of the Abyss. You're saying Dane is from Conria? The same Conria that was destroyed 500 years ago? And you said the people turned into monsters? You're trying to tell 
Paimon that the Abyss Order is not only related to Conria, but is actually the people of Conria themselves? Uh, and the whole thing about Dame being your enemy... Oh, uh, Paimon's so confused. Come, come with me, Arthur. Let's go home. You can tell me all this later. Let's go home. Home. Yes, of course. Home is wherever we are together. But I cannot go with you to the next world to find a new home. At least, not yet. Until the Abyss has engulfed the thrones, my war with destiny will see no end. Destiny? Listen to me, Lumine. I have already traveled through this world once. Once you reach the end of your journey as I did, you will see for yourself the true nature of this world. So we'll meet again. Though we need not rush, sister. I have more than enough time to wait for you. We have always had enough time. Sad. You're right, Paimon. There is hope. Really? Are you sure? At least now, as well as the Seven, Dame is also a key part of finding your sibling too, right? Once we get to Inazuma, we should keep that in mind as we look for some clues. Another objective for our journey. That's right! Um, by the way, what they said just now is all pretty confusing. Did you? I pretty much got it. I was too focused on my brother to really listen carefully. Oh, well then, let's go over it again. The Traveler in Paimon tries to recall all the details as they can. First off, that Abyss Herald called your brother Prince. It seems like your brother is leading the Abyss Order. Even the Abyss Herald answers to him. Still, we don't know for sure if he's the highest ranking leader in the organization. Also, your brother said that he wants to engulf the thrones and go to war with destiny. What the heck does that mean? Could it be he wants to destroy the Seven and the Seven Nations? Next thing, turns out the Abyss Order monsters are really what the people of Conria turned into after their nation was destroyed. This story is just plain terrifying! And Dave is from Conria too! He witnessed its destruction 500 years ago! But he didn't turn into a monster. And now he's fighting the Abyss Order. So that's why your brother said that Dane is his enemy, right? But if the monsters of the Abyss are the same people that Dane protected all those years ago, then why is he enemies with the Abyss Order now? Also, how come after all this time we've spent searching for your brother, it turns out he's on the side of the Abyss? What's up with that? We have many new questions, but few answers. Think about it over and over, we'll solve nothing. Yeah, you're right. Then we can't let ourselves get down about it now. Our journey's not over yet. Let's get a move on. Time to leave this terrible dark place and get back to the surface where the sun shines bright. If your brother wants you to reach the end of your journey, show him what you're made of. Come on, traveler. Let's go. Easy. So, haha, -ha, now we can finally go to Inazuma. Yes! Take a view, Lewis Harbaugh, click me your thoughts. Okay, now I hear the chest. Oh, I see the chest. Mm, give me the chest. So, yeah, now you know the story. What's up? Um, are you okay? Paimon never imagined. 
imagined your brother would have sided with the Abyss. I'm feeling a bit better. I still can't accept it. Well, keep your chin up. Hyman believes in both of you. And when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Right? Yeah, you're right. There must be more than to this than that meets the eye. He said we needed to reach the end of our journey. Hyman bets he still has much more to tell us. And we won't find out what this journey is or where it will end unless we keep going. Thank you, Paimon. I'm glad to have you as a guide, Paimon. Aw, uh, don't mention it, partner. Travel buddies are supposed to look out for one another. Although, where should we go next? If we want to continue with the journey... Hmm... I still need to find that god. And blundered her to death with cuddles. Oh, but you mean the god that took your brother away in the first place? You're right. After all, everything that followed, all this confusion, it all started with her. I need answers from her. I need to teach her a lesson we won't, she won't forget. Ooh, Paimon supports that idea. Just the thought of it's so satisfying. Well, we've ruled out two gods so far. The Animo and Geo Archons. So, next... Let's go to Inazuma. Let's find the Electro Archon. Hmm. Hyman doesn't think we can simply walk into Inazuma. Zhang Li said it was a closed nation. We'll have to find some other way in. <gasps> Why don't we ask someone from Inazuma how to gain entrance? Let me try and think of someone. I'm sure there is someone we met. Oh, Paimon spotted someone already! Atsuko, in Lea Harbor! She's from Inazuma! Let's see what she has to say! Ooh, I see, I see that symbol, and that symbol is from Inazuma. Ooh, yes, I hope, I hope, yes. Teleport and let's go. Inazuma, Inazuma, you. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, I mean, good fortune, right? <sighs> I'm still learning to talk like a local. <laughs> is there anything I can help you with? We wanted to ask. How do we get into Inazuma? Oh, so that's why you're here. Well, there is a way. Great! We came to the right person! But the chance of success is incredibly small. Huh. Incredibly small? Then how did you get out of Inazuma in the first place? It was in leaving Inazuma that I found out just how dangerous this method truly was. All I had to rely on was a little wooden raft that I'd put together myself. There was a storm raging ahead of me, and my pursuers were close on my tail. After I'd escaped their clutches, I floated on the open ocean for, I don't know, how many days. My rations and fresh water supplies soon ran out, and I remember getting to the point where I was sure I'd reached the end. Then, I blacked out. But, to my surprise, my journey didn't end there. Or to put it another way, a new beginning found me. Did someone from Liyue save you? Ah, that's right. I escaped by the skin of my teeth. The fact that I'm even alive to tell the tale must be a sign that the gods were watching over me. What a horrible journey! And you set off knowing how dangerous it was? Why? Well, because everything is just too restrictive over there. The atmosphere is so stifling. The Kanjo Commission subjects everyone leaving or entering the nation to a protracted approval process, and... I felt like I didn't belong there. Kanjo Commission? What's that? Along with the other two commissions, they oversee everything in Inazuma. We usually collectively refer to them as the Tri-Commission. I suppose they're equivalent to the eight trades under the Liyu Chising. One of the obligations of the Kanjo Commission is to conduct rigorous identity checks on all individuals leaving or entering in Azuma. All non-nationals are processed centrally on Rito upon arrival. Meanwhile, the Tenryo Commission is responsible for implementing the recently promulgated Vision Hunt Decree. They act like the executive arm of the Raiden Shogun's rule. Loyal, yet unfeeling. It doesn't feel good to speak ill of my home like this. But after spending so long under that oppressive atmosphere, I begin to lose all hope for the future. What I mean to say is, 
Unless you have an extremely compelling reason to go to Inazuma, you should abandon your plans of trying to get there. I have a compelling reason. There are answers to questions I must know there. <sighs> you should know that the sea around Inazuma is engulfed in a perpetual tempest of wind and rain. Supposing you survive that, you would still need to get past the samurai guards that enforce the Sakoku Decree, the closed nation policy of Inazuma. And even if you did manage to find a way, you'd still have to produce the necessary documentation at the Rito Center for processing Outlanders. Otherwise, you'd be kicked out immediately. Seems like they really don't want anyone setting foot in Inazuma, huh? But they have Rito. But there is a place for Outlanders to go, right? They only set that up as a port to guarantee a supply of goods and information to the island. Most Outlanders would be unable to acquire the documentation needed. But if you really are set on going, there is one thing you could try. Uh, the raft idea sounds a little on the dangerous side. Plus, Paimon would definitely get seasick. That's not what I meant. You could ask someone from the Crux Fleet if they have some way of getting you to Inazuma. They're well known in Liyue. Voyaging far and wide has made them a well-traveled group with a wide range of experiences. They may just know how to break through the storm. But it's an armed fleet, right? Why would they agree to a request like this? That part is up to you. If you're able to persuade their captain, Beto, then the hardest part will be out of the way. Let's, let's give it a try. It seems like our only option. The Alcor is the flagship of the Crux fleet. I heard that it's currently anchored by Guyun Stone Forest on a supply run. This might be your best chance. Then there's no time to lose! Let's go find Captain Beto! Ha! Ha ha ha! That will be easy cheesy, you know why? Cause it's right here, it's right here! And I hope I'll be able to swim, <coughs> sorry not swim, but glide that far. If I can't glide that far, I'm freaked. Literally freaked. Well, I, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Dun, dun. This reminds me of the Beat Saber map I played. Yeah, basically I need to go there. I could get a little higher. And if I get a little higher, I could actually glide there. I hope these bars are enough to get to it, I guess. Uh, let's try from here. If I make it on the paddles, that will be even awesome. Oh yeah, we make it. Maybe a puddle or two. Yeah, we should, should have climbed a li little higher. Just a little tiny bit higher. Just... I, I hope we can jump up. Oh, there's a rope. Never mind, there's a rope. Yeah, on the paddle, look at that. Like a professional. Easy. Aha! Here is Beidou, look. Oh, cuckoo. Hmm. Who have we got here? Wait, I know you. You're that traveler, aren't you? The one who fought against the Fatui in Osile, right? Ho ho ho, oui oui, it's a Lavelon. Have we met? My reputation precedes me. <laughs> Ningguang told me about you. A traveler of great insight and remarkable skill has saved Liyue, she said. She's a hard one to please, so praise from her is high praise indeed. I remember thinking at the time that it'd be good to meet you in person. Judging by the clothes on your back and this floating thing, I guess that time has come. Hey! The name's not Floating Thing! It's Paimon! Paimon? Hmm. What a fascinating being. You two give off not only the essence of wind and earth, but also of... Yes. The stars. Huh? The fragrance of what now? That's the weirdest compliment Paimon's ever heard! Pay it no heed. I mean only to say I am certain that it is by fate, not chance alone, that we should meet. And that gives our encounter meaning. 
Is this guy a bard by any chance? And this must be your bard for hire? You're not far off, but they go by a different name in Inazuma. This young man is Kaidahara Kazuha, a temporary addition to my crew for reasons I won't bore you with. Occasionally he opens his mouth and flowers come out instead of words. With this fine ship and the soft sea breeze, would it not be romantically irresponsible of me not to acknowledge it with a line or two of poetry? <laughs> well, I can't argue with that. Okay, then. Once the clash is underway, I'll give you a chance to perform. Only if the mood takes me, of course. Poetry for poetry's sake tends to lack meaning. Hey, you don't want to pass this opportunity up too easily. Especially seeing as our great hero here might be in attendance. Oh, wait a minute. What's the clash? Uh, also, just to clarify, by great hero, do you mean... Huh? I thought you might be here to sign up. You're telling me you've never even heard of it? The Crux Clash is a martial arts tournament that I hold. There'll be a whole bunch of folks taking part to showcase their talents. There are two important rules. One, competitors must be renowned fighters. We want those with real martial arts ability, not just people taking part for the fun of it. So, you've got nothing to worry about there? I don't think there's anyone out there who hasn't heard of you. Two, you can't take part if you've got a vision. Otherwise, things get a little... one-sided. I don't have a vision, but... <laughs> you must be feeling confident, but you might want to watch out. There are a few crouching tigers and hidden dragons lurking around in Liyue. And with Liyue's savior taking part in the tournament, now that's gonna turn a few heads. I think we can expect a healthy turnout this time. But we didn't come here to take part in a martial arts tournament. Well, before you dismiss the idea completely, you might be interested to hear that the prize this time round is particularly sought after. Get this. It's a masterless vision. Supplied by myself, as a matter of fact. If the tournament champion can reawaken that vision, it belongs to them. Is there really such thing as a masterless vision? Why doesn't it have a master? When a vision bearer dies, the light in their vision will fade away. But the shell that housed that light remains. As for whether this shell has any practical application, well, this remains to be seen. But my intuition tells me that while it remains in the world, it may just be possible for someone else to inherit it. Yep. And the way I see it, a vision is a badge of recognition from the gods. So if anyone's able to rekindle it, it's gotta be an individual of exceptional strength and talent. Organizing the clash is my way of uncovering hidden talents. And hopefully this time, getting a vision to glow again. So if you don't have a vision, this is the perfect opportunity to get your hands on one of your very own. To be honest, I'm not interested. A vision is of no use to me. Yeah, we're interested in getting to Inazuma, not fighting in some tournament. Inazuma? You want to go there? <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? Inazuma, no sweat. In that case, if you win the tournament, I'll give you a choice. Masterless vision or a ticket to Inazuma aboard the Alcor. Up to you. That was easy. You just want her to take part in your tournament. <laughs> What's wrong with that? The more talent we have, the better the tournament will be. I couldn't let a competitor like you fall through the net. What are we gonna do? <sighs> Looks like we pretty much have to do this tournament if we want to get to Inazuma, huh? I'm not worried. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Great. Then let's get you signed up. Head to the tournament arena in Guyun Stone Forest. Kazuha and I will be over soon. It seems like it will only be a matter of time before the answer is revealed. Ooh, secrets! Hoo hoo hoo! Okay, let's go there. If we can go to Inazuma, we will go there. Uh, boink, 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 boink. Will we go like that or we go boink and boink? Uh, to wake up all the monsters? Nah, me, 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 me. I'll just see you there because it's a long way. I can put on my traveling hat and sing on the road again. Here we go on the road again. And that music in the background doesn't match. I still remember the beat savers the map. It was pretty fast. 
It's pretty nice and pretty fast. Before we sign up, let's see who the other competitors are. One, two, Beto three, said four. That they four. have to be renowned mm. fighters. Hmm. Who will we be up against? Yeah, nobody that much. Hey, youngster. Are you here for the Crux Clash too? If so, seems I found myself another new adversary. So you're also here for the tournament? You better believe it. Huh, I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I could walk away as a champion. For me, obtaining a vision is the final and most important piece in the puzzle that is my life. Do you want to become an adventurer? Do you want to become a hero? No, no, no. It's not about what I want to do. This is about who I want to be. I am looking to become a perfect person. I know how that sounds, but let me explain. I've lived a successful life so far without any setbacks. I've passed every exam I've ever taken, enjoyed numerous successful business ventures, and seem to get on with just about everyone socially. In most people's eyes, I am already the very embodiment of the perfect person. Though, of course, <laughs> I'd never let the praise get to my head. I know I haven't reached perfection yet, because there's one thing I'm still missing, a vision. You have so much self-confidence. Do you have tournament experience? Are you a renowned fighter? That's not important. I have a contact in the Crux fleet who was happy to vouch for me, so they very kindly made special arrangements on my behalf. I've also brought along a bit of an entourage for moral support. It's such a blessing, really, to have so many good friends in my neighborhood. Of course, I also put in a few good days' practice, concentrating mostly on rare and esoteric styles of Kung Fu. As a high achiever by nature, I'm confident I've done enough to guarantee my victory in this tournament. Don't be so sure. I'm sure you have. <laughs> I seem to have gained another fan. Don't let my aura overwhelm you, though. You'll need your wits about you today. Now then. If you don't mind, I need to finish my pre-competition routine. It's not too long now before you'll get to see me in action. Yeah, he will be the first one who dies. He will die fast. Oh boy. Uncle Yun, ooh. Hello! Are you here to compete in the Crux Clash? You bet I am. Have you put your names down yet? Not yet, we just wanted to take a look around first. Well, I'd have a look at the entrance criteria if I were you. Then it'll allow just anyone to take part. The Clash is a comprehensive test of fighting ability. Anyone who turns up for show over skill is gonna get their butt handed to them. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that, right? Uh, yeah, we heard a rule about that. So, Paimon's wondering, are you a renowned fighter? <laughs> Me? Only a former runner-up in the Tsuhu Rock Freestyle Combat Summit. Oh yeah. Former runner-up. Uh -huh. Also, that doesn't sound like the most official tournament out there. What? You... Nonsense. Have you been living under a rock? It's been going on for years. There were plenty of competitors when I took part. Not to mention, I've helped the Millilith catch treasure hoarders before. There were two of them trying to escape. I soon sorted them out. They tried to sneak past me under the cover of darkness. <laughs> they didn't know what hit them. I planted a left hook on the skinnier one's face and sent him flying. Then, the big guy pulled out a knife. I stood my ground, of course. A roundhouse kick sent the blade hurtling into a beam above us. S sounds uh, impressive. Sounds mm, dangerous. <laughs> I told you. Unarmed, outnumbered two to one, but I still got the upper hand. I'm not saying I came out completely unscathed, of course. But the fact remains that I did manage to subdue the both of them. And hand them over to the Millilith. I received quite the commendation. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. But for us, even four or five treasure hoarders at a time is all in a day's work. Thanks for letting us know. Uh huh. All right, we're gonna keep looking around. I'll see you in the arena, <laughs> but I don't plan on losing to a pair of children anytime soon. Yeah, looks looks like here is nothing. Looks like here's absolutely nothing. Here are just people who are just talking empty. That's right. Nothing beats real-life combat for honing your skills. 
That's what our master taught us. But this tournament is more than just a chance to put training into practice. It's also a chance for us to obtain the masterless vision. Exactly. With a vision, we'd quickly become our master's top students. This master of yours must be pretty incredible, huh? Are they someone famous? Famous? He's the founder of the Ling Shan clan, and his skills are unparalleled. Liang and I are both proud disciples of his. The Ling Shan clan doesn't ring a bell. You probably wouldn't have heard of it. It was founded quite recently. The clan is nowhere near as famous as the master himself anyway. He's got to be a grand master or something. He's created many different styles of kung fu, and countless other clans have borrowed extensively from him. To the Ling Shan clan, he teaches a special technique known as force dispersal. Force dispersal? It's a type of breathing exercise where you can train yourself to harness the energy around you and neutralize attacks without moving an inch. For example, our master can use it to alter the path of an attacking fist or change the direction of an incoming stone, all without breaking a sweat. One time, he sent a challenger flying into the air without lifting a finger. Is that really possible? It sure is. But it's extremely difficult to cultivate this ability. We've been training for ages and we're still getting to grips with the very basics. There's no way we could use it proficiently yet. <sighs> we're clearly not that naturally gifted, or we would have at least gotten the gist by now. If we don't start making progress soon, we'll probably run out of money to pay the tuition fees and still have nothing to show for all our training. There's a tuition fee? Of course! This is a grand master we're talking about here. He doesn't have time to waste. If you want face-to-face -face training, you've got to show you're sincere about it. <sighs> but here we are, having trained under him directly all this time without even a hint of improvement. Master is getting increasingly impatient with us. Recently, though, we heard that a vision bearer joined the Guhua clan and made pretty much instant progress in their training. So, if we can get our hands on a vision too, maybe we can finally make our master proud. A vision won't make you better at martial arts. There might be other reasons why you can't seem to master this technique. Well, we have to try something new. Otherwise, we're stuck in the same situation. Exactly. It can't hurt to try. And if it turns out it does work, the Ling Shan clan will go down in history. Folks will come from far and wide. Heck, we could even become the dominant martial arts clan in all of Liyue. Well, that's the spirit. Can't fault you for trying. See you in the arena. Oh, well, see. To recap, we're up against an inflated ego, some gullible guys paying way too much for their kung fu classes, and another guy who's just really average. Hmm. Seems like you've got a pretty good chance of winning this thing. Come on, let's go sign up. Yeah, looks like this is an. Hmm. This fight won't be really Sorry. good, dude. Yeah, and who thought was even dancing? Have fun you guys, because this will be mm, this will be pretty easy. If you liked this video and this video was entertaining, of course smash the like button, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I hope I'll see you next video. Bye bye!